Welcome everybody to the He's Wrong, She's Right podcast, the podcast where I show my wife her views on Twitter and then get her views on her website. Did you say shell? Shill. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Or what do you want to call it? Pimp you? Pimp me out. Yeah. Mm, that's a more accurate depiction. Sure. Okay. Sure. Okay. Well, today, today we're going to talk about the American dream. Mm. What that means. Yeah, what is the American dream? I don't know anymore. I don't either. Not with this inflation. Yeah. Don't even have the damn thing on. Yeah. Everybody can see your boobies. <laughs> Let's fix that problem. There we go. There we go. There's our our ticker that I still haven't worked on yet. Okay, so you cover me up for the podcast, but you pimp me out on Twitter. Got well, it. Well, I actually think that on the intros, it'll be better that I don't have it on there because when I go to cut up the clips, when, if I use that as the snippet, it won't be there. So we'll see. This is obviously a podcast where I talk about a lot of things that never happen. Sounds like our marriage. Yeah. Hey, somebody's got to have the good ideas. Somebody else has to execute on them. That somebody else is currently... Has not been me. Man, it's like, now that it's actually green outside, this house is kind of dim when the sun is out, which I'd like. That means the air conditioning bill, the electric bill shouldn't be astronomical because we've got pretty good shade. Okay, just there. I'm just trying to follow you. We were talking about the American dream, and now we're we're talking about the power bill, but okay. We're going back to the American dream, don't worry. There you go, guys. Boobies are back. What are you laughing about? What are you laughing about? Okay. She got, she got a new dress, so she's flaunting it for you guys. No, it's because today is the first day that it actually feels like spring, so I was feeling festive. Oh, no, we've had six or seven springs already. This is North Carolina. Not that lined up with a weekend. Whatever. Today is Friday. Whatever. Feeling spring festive. Oh. And then... By Ron Swanson in Ron in Ron We Trust shirt from John Malecki. I don't know if he still sells it or not, but John, if you're watching this, which you're not, thank you for the shirt that I paid for. Um, so yeah, let's talk about talk about the good old American dream. Mm-hmm. Go for it. Well, actually, first off, first off, thank you to that girl, the Chinese girl, I, I don't know all the details yet, but thank you for that video snippet just wrecking David Hogg. That was amazing. What? He was he was answering questions somewhere, and this Chinese girl who had escaped communism, she's an immigrant in the U.S., Chinese immigrant, um, David Hogg was answering questions, debating. I don't, know, I don't actually know all the details. I only know the snippet. But she asked him a couple questions, and then the final question that she asked him is, can you guarantee that this government, the U.S. government, will never become tyrannical? And he said, well, no, I can't ever guarantee that any government will never become tyrannical. And she said, well, then the gun debate is fucking over. Because that's the entire premise, is to prevent the government from becoming tyrannical. If you cannot guarantee that it will not become tyrannical, the debate is over. You can't guarantee it. There's no debate to be had. We keep our guns. Fuck you. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. Plain and simple. As easy as that. Um, but just funny that it had to come from a Chinese immigrant. Who escaped communism. Yeah. Um, and then, so I showed you the picture of the, the uh, guy in the Navy on okay. the ship. They were... Firing rounds into the Pacific Ocean, training, staging photos, whatever. It's all both internal and external propaganda. It looks cool to us and it makes the enemy worried, whatever. Don't really care what. what. But it's the second in a line of major Navy fuck-ups as far as social media and advertising goes. What was the first? Hold on. Let me explain some of the stuff about this picture first. So the... Man firing the rifle in the image. First of all, his optic on the rifle was installed backwards. 
So imagine if you were looking through a, uh, um, what's that thing called they use in science class? Microscope. Mm -hmm. Imagine looking through a microscope backwards. Okay. So he was looking through his scope backwards for so stage photos. A prop gun. No, no, it was a real gun. There's actually shell casings flying out of the the um, dust cover. Uh, so. But they only installed that one thing backwards. The whole thing was fucked up. Like the the foregrip was way too close to the magazine. It should have been farther down the rail. Typically, like guys like me, we didn't even have a foregrip. I had to just all uh, on the magazine well but there was just a whole slew of fuck ups it just it was a terrible picture then the marine corps came out and trashed the navy with their own picture <laughs> basically the same thing but did they do, add some crayons to it no but they did it correctly and they looked cool doing it because okay. they were doing it correctly okay um but issue number or the first big issue and obviously now the navy is going to put themselves under a microscope or at least i hope they will um, they ran an ad where a welder was working on a weld and on across his gloves said, I eat ass. This is the first time telling her about this. I've been, I've been wanting to tell her. For <laughs> and this was on an ad distributed to yeah. probably high schoolers yeah. to join the Navy. Yeah. yeah. Join the Navy because we yeah. eat ass. Yeah. But see, here's the thing. I actually think it would have been funny if they would have left it. But they actually um, NJP'd the sailor who was wearing the gloves. He got in trouble for it, officially. Nobody else caught it. Only because it was photographed and distributed yeah, to yeah. likely minors. But no, no, no. The point is, the people doing photography, editing, it had to go through the chain of command. There were so many eyes on this imagery but nobody, nobody caught, caught it. it or they did and let it slide thinking nobody will catch it because whatever and then when it That's went funny. then when it went viral he got in trouble it, it sh he should have never been allowed to wear them how did it go viral to begin with because people caught it right who was the originating source on who caught it you know just anytime the Navy, the Army, anybody posts anything, everybody's in the comments about it, critiquing it. So there's always, it doesn't go unnoticed, no matter what they want to think. Okay. It's never going to go unnoticed. And it's better that we're the ones that find it and identify it and ridicule it rather than somebody else doing it. That's my opinion, at least. Or just join the Navy because they eat ass. Yeah, there you go. So, with that being said. That's really cute. Now we can talk about. Is that what injury. you were saving all week? Yeah. You were like. <gasps> I have something to tell you. Yes. Yeah. And I'm only going to tell you yeah. when we're on camera. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So. I eat ass. Is that your next tattoo, Andrew? No. No. Okay. Whatever you say. I'm sure somebody probably has it like on the inside of their lips or something. Or on their tongue. Hmm. Mm. How's your stomach growing? You just ate. What's wrong with you? Acting like you haven't had food ever. 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 Just in the last 10 minutes. Okay. So, American Dream. What does the American Dream mean to you right there? Because As I already said before the intro, it doesn't mean anything these days because of inflation. Okay. What, what... The average American is spending over $1,000 extra per month because of inflation. What? Okay. Not even... Okay. So, assuming you can overcome that, what is the American Dream? Like, what, what guess... do you have to achieve in order to say, I have reached... The American dream or achieve the American dream. To no longer stress about bills, period. That's it. To make sure that you are covering every single bill and so, not so if you could live having in, to pinch somewhere in your life. So if you could live in a cardboard box, that'd be okay because you're not worried about bills. But you have to go into detail with this. Okay. I mean, keeping a roof over my children's head, keeping food in the fridge, the lights on, and never feeling the stress of is this the month where I can't make ends meet? I think our audio is out of sync with the video. So I'll have to fix that later. That just bothered me. We can't look at the screen anymore. Otherwise, we're going to keep seeing it. Um, okay, so nothing else. There's no blitz and glamour, keeping up with the Joneses type stuff. You don't want a boat. You don't want... No, I could care wanna, less about any of that. You just, don't want a second house. You don't want... 
It's really in, never even crossed in, my mind. In unlimited supply of fancy dresses and <laughs> places to go to wear the fancy dresses. No, just never feeling the stress of making sure that every single bill is covered. Okay. My interpretation, my view of the American dream is big ass fucking house with a big ass garage and another big ass pole barn on a lot of property. All I heard was pole and then I want I want a little bit of flat land. I want a little bit of rolling hills. I want a lot of trees. Would you have animals? Yeah. What I kind? wouldn't take care of them. I'd have somebody else do it. Mm. Somebody whatever other people will take care of for me. And Your American paying, dream. And I'm not paying them. Quite elaborate. And I'm not paying them. Yeah. Cause I want every gun ever made. I want a tank. I want an Apache helicopter. I want a mega yacht with a crew that I don't have to pay. I want it on Lake Michigan. Are you going to go there with your other wife? Because I'm not going there. Go there in the summer. That's our summer getaway. And yeah, I want no neighbors. I want everything brought. Yeah, the cameras. Something's something's messed up in here. It's throwing me off. I want everything brought to me. I want my life catered. I want my bank account to have so many zeros that it literally has to go to the next line on my screen. None of that has ever crossed my mind. Well, it's because you're planning for tomorrow and I'm planning for the tomorrow's tomorrow. I wanna have so much money and so much gold and so much land that when the economy collapses, I'm the last person that's happy. Have you ever been happy? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm happy right now. You are? Yeah, look at me, so I'm happy. There's a difference between living the american dream and being happy you can have both you can have one or the other i'm sure there are people that are living the american dream that are miserable but that's because they're dumb there's somebody that's living my dream right now and they're still miserable but i wouldn't be i would appreciate it your stomach is really growling it is you have a broken stomach for calling me out talking about well they might be able to hear it since i made some audio setting changes I'm sorry guys if you can hear my stomach growling She's not sorry. She's going to go eat some ravioli. <laughs> You're welcome. This this angle, the like forced perspective angle. Does it that. make my forehead look even bigger? No, you come up to like my chin. You come up to my chin in this image. I thought you were going to make fun of my forehead. In reality, this weird forced perspective, was it uh, Lord of the Rings or whatever, where they did that, where they made the guy look really big by having him sit closer to the camera. And it was like, I have no idea. Have you seen those pictures? That those people go in those rooms and they have it like painted in a certain way. So you like walk into a corner and you look like really, really small or really, really big. Yes. Yeah. That's what's going on right here. Even though we're Even literally. Even though you literally make fun of you for being. We're literally. A foot shorter look, look, than look, you. look how my arm looks in this camera versus this camera. It's just that angle for some reason. Okay. 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 So anyways, the American dream. Yeah. Land ownership. Mm -hmm. And it's not just land. But having the ability to grow and raise your own food, so it's not just to live on, it's also for sustenance, also to bury your gold. So when people try and come and steal it, they might be able to take your safe. You would eat filet mignon every single day. Yeah, duh. Filet mignon, two or three eggs, and a pound of bacon. Every, That's just breakfast. Yeah, every so breakfast. So what, you, you what would you do for lunch and dinner? Mwah, let's see here um more of the same what oops i would eat my eat my steak bacon and eggs mm -hmm. then i would work out then i would eat my steak bacon and eggs and i would work out and then i would eat my steak bacon and eggs with a side of beer and then i would fuck you and go to sleep but by how the way, can you have way, sex on a full stomach i don't know by the way i think my grandma watches this uh hi grandma <laughs> Your grandson is so sweet to me. He's so caring and loving. And now you can turn it off. This is on record forever. <laughs> and now you can turn it off and we're going to move on. Everyone's going to know how sweet I am to you. Yes, and that I said it with a flat affect. So everybody else besides mm -hmm. you no, who AI. can... No, <laughs> AI, I change your tones. You can't use words anymore. <laughs> Words, 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 words. You can't, you can't use any words without actually carefully selecting them because... 
So it comes out as, oh, Andrew, I love you so much. Do you remember um, there's been like videos or commercials or even, I mean, they, they still kind of do it. You know, a lot of times they'll record ads where it's people, everybody's saying the same sentence, but they're only clipping out one word from each person. Yes. So it's like, yes, yes, yes. We love. Yes. Who's wrong or he's wrong. She my <laughs> podcast. <laughs> you and, forgot our own yeah, podcast and, name. Andrew and Nona are the best people ever. And I could literally clip that out of people's words on the internet and put it together as an ad for this podcast. All right. And nobody good. can stop me. Nobody can stop me. I'm going to get famous people to do it. Okay. And because it's under a certain threshold of time. 0. 0.05 seconds per person. Well, for copyright, it's typically like seven seconds, but yeah, I'll snip out one word per person. Okay. Throw them on the screen real quick and it'll sound like they're endorsing us. Absolutely. Let's do yeah. it. What? All right. Bye, Grandma. I'm telling her to get what? off here before it gets too why, raunchy. Why are you kicking my grandma out of here? We're talking about the American dream. This is the perfect podcast for everyone to listen to. Well... You just talked about how you were gonna fuck me. So, so how many how many acres away um, would the kids' compounds be? Because this is gonna be like a righteous gemstones kind of thing. That's what I'm thinking. How old are they? That answers the question. They've all completed school. They're all successful. Cash is either in. Or... So they're all 21 plus. Yeah. Um. Then we can all have our own five acres. How would you get your own? You have to live with me. Do I though? Yeah. Why? You can live with the dogs. No, Chloe will live with the dogs. Can I please? No. Have my own little spot? No. It'll be all clean. No, you can have the in-law suite or whatever. What's that called? No, that's what you can have. What's what's that called? Mother-in-law suite. There we go. AKA man cave in this situation. That's uh, Jake, which by the way, shout out to Jake and Carissa for their donation and for him going out of his way now in his retirement to uh, find us sponsors and donors. Very helpful. This is the first I'm hearing of it. And yeah. well, so he, I don't know he, what's happening. He, he called me a little bit ago and, uh, and he, he hasn't sent me the name of the uh, studio yet. But Laura and Taylor. I literally just got off the phone with Jake 40 minutes ago. And he hasn't texted me the name of your Pilates studio. So he's messing. He's fucking up. Get Sorry. Him. He said, he said he has something written down that's going to make you potentially upset with me. I don't know. I haven't seen this yet. So you've been warned. But he is trying to help you grow your business. So you win some, you lose some, right? What is he going to do? Like call her Elastigirl or something? Like, I don't know. Like, what could be. What does that mean? Well. Elastigirl is from Incredibles, but maybe just saying that she's really bendy and flexible and can do all the things. I don't, like what would what would be what negative regarding a Pilates studio? I can't imagine. I don't think that's what it's about. But... Right. I just I can't imagine what would be negative. Or... So if if Jake tells me before this episode, uh, I don't know, episode goes live on Tuesday, the 16th, which if you didn't file your taxes, you better file by Monday. Um, I'll put something on the video if I remember. Nona will remind me. Now that I said it, Nona's gonna remind. Hey, did you put that thing in the video? And I'll be like, "What are you talking about?" Because that's how hard I'll forget. Dude. You forget so hard. I forget so hard. So hard. You know? And with that, you should visit nonafelt.com <laughs> for the transcript. That's n o n a p h e l p s dot c o m. Do you have to fix that every single transcript? No, I haven't fixed it ever. I just noticed it one time and I let it fly. How many people are actually reading the transcript? I have no idea. I don't either. It's in the description. It's in the YouTube description. Well, now I'm just genuinely curious if anybody's even gone to my website from this podcast. Yeah, they have. I can see that in the in the, in the analytics that they do. There's, I can see referral traffic. Okay. Whatever you say. Your website is not anywhere else on YouTube, so I can guarantee it's coming from this podcast. Okay. Okay. Unless you're doing something else on the side that I don't know about. Mm -hmm. So. What do you think? So. I don't know. <laughs> I set. Uh, I set. The uh, Twitters on fire last night. Oh, yeah. He's so proud of. By accident. So proud of himself. He finally went viral for the first time in his life. It's actually. 
No, it's not the first. It's just the first in a long time. What? It was the first time. No, because I used to go viral before being viral was a thing. It, it was the first time. And I didn't know how to capitalize on it. Now I do, so. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, anyways, you went viral for the first time in your life, and? It's actually not even close to the first time. Okay, whatever. I don't believe you, but okay. Mm-hmm. Carry on. Okay. Um, It was asking if everybody just legitimately hates USA now. Because that has seemed to be the trend. It actually has started since about the time when they started paying Gronk and sponsoring the NFL. And after reading some of the comments, some of the replies, overwhelmingly people were like, yeah, fuck them. So I started saying, hey, <laughs> my wife happens to be in insurance. But I didn't, I first of all, I didn't do it with the intent of marketing you. I was just asking my small circle of exactly 420 followers at that point in time on Twitter. Hey, so is it the consensus that everybody hates USA for insurance and banking now? And nothing really happened for like an hour or two. And then all of a sudden I open Twitter and I have infinite comments or infinite. And USAA responded. Yeah. But I mean, it was, it's always their like alt account, but on Twitter it's like help or support or whatever. It's mm-hmm. like USA support or USA help. Um, they responded and you know, they always like, they byline their response. So uh, like for internal auditing, they can figure out which customer service person was responding. And they were like, this is really terrifying to hear. Can you please DM me your phone number and your full name and your email address? And we can look at And your this. social security number yeah, and your I bank account. <laughs> and let me steal all of your information because yeah, actually yeah. I'm pretending to be a USA. Well, well no, so on Twitter, um, you, you have different like verification levels. So Twitter blue, which used to be the only way like verified, like Instagram and stuff like that have always had where you have like the check mark. Twitter now has Twitter blue, which is you, it's a subscription for most people. You can still. Do you do that? Yeah. Pay to be on Twitter. I pay to remove ads and to have longer tweets. I pay for the other features. It just comes with a check mark. That is so fucking stupid. Go use Twitter sometime. I've never been on and I probably never okay. will. A- answer me this. If for a couple of dollars you could remove all of your ads from Instagram, would you? I would never pay to be on a okay. social media platform okay. ever. I'm not paying to be on it. I'm paying to remove ads and add other features that I want to use. Like I don't have a Dumb. I don't have a character limit on my tweets. So Dumb. So you get these other people where they want to they want to have this long diatribe. And they have to do a tweet and then add another tweet and then add another Dumb. tweet. And you know what I do? I just write one long tweet. Yeah. You feel so special because you paid X amount of dollars per month. No, and you're going to get roasted just so you know because you are the people that everybody dislikes on Twitter. Well, I've never been on Twitter. It all sounds so fucking stupid. No, it, ex- it extends your Roast reach. Roast away. It extends your reach, removes ads. There's tons of additional features that come with it. You're going to be paying for social media eventually anyways. They're all moving to that model. Everybody's going to be paying for it. If you want to use Facebook, you're going to be paying for it soon. Dumb. That's the world that we live in right now. Dumb. Yep. So you say that now, but mark my word, it'll only be within the next year or two. Dumb. You're going to start having to pay to go to the store too. I'm sorry, what? Yeah. I already spend like yeah. two hundred dollars every time I go no, to the they're, store. They're they're working on different subscription methods and methodologies and everybody's kind of testing their own way to do this. A subscription to walk into Harris Theater. Yeah. Amazon is working on a palm scanning thing where you have to be a subscriber and in order to walk into one of their shops and Whole Foods, you will have to scan your palm to verify that you're a member. It's it's coming. It's true. It, they're already testing it. So not only are they going to have your biometrics to be able to commit fraud on your behalf, you have a bubble on your nose. I want to lick your makeup. I wasn't telling you to lick it. I was telling you to get it with your finger. I licked it last time, so why wouldn't I lick it this time? Oh my god! <laughs> I still didn't get it off. I missed it. That's why I had to use my finger. Well, I don't. I can't save myself. Sure. Visit the Technology Center of Excellence. America's Technology Center of Excellence, lemaxmedia.com. And for the transcript, that is spelled L-E-M-A-C-K-S-M-E-D-I-A 
com. Or if I need to do it phonetically, Lima, Echo, Mike, Alpha, Charlie, Kilo, Sierra, Mike, Echo, uh, Delta, showing Delta India, Alpha, uh, Stop, Charlie, Oscar, Mike. Cash has memorized it almost. Mm hmm I don't think he could rattle it off that fast. He would have to no, ask him he... each letter one at a time. But but he has it taped up to his bed. Yeah. So he can look at it every single night. Yep. I might actually be setting him up for failure in some ways, depending on how he turns out as a kid in general. Like if he's... If I he, mean, if... yeah, you're no, 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 in no. the fatherhood role with him. So no. yes, you are setting him up for failure <laughs> no, no, in no, life. No, 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 no. But you know how Charlotte always has to be a know-it-all. Okay. She always has to interject and say something like her having this knowledge and then trying to join the military and be like, I already know that I learned that before you're going to get fucked. But if cash is like, just keeps his mouth shut and crosses his T's and dots his eyes and does what he's supposed to do and just leverages the knowledge that he has and then expands on that, he'll be successful. Okay. Cause nobody wants the know it all at all and on top of that they go out of their way to break those people even more because if you come in with a perception that you have more ability or more knowledge than you truly have you're not going to understand the fundamentals or the reason why you're going to skip the stuff that is meaningful because you know the finish line and then you're going to get to another point where you're going to need to, you're going to try and, you know, go to a board or whatever to get promoted. And you're not going to know the actual reasoning. Why? Like, why does this work? What is the methodology? What is the SOP? What is this? What is that? You need to be able to explain that stuff. That's why things like, so people talk about specifically in the army, I don't know how all the other branches do this, but for the expert infantry badge and the, uh, what are you looking at? There's a spot on the ceiling. There's a spot on the ceiling in every room in this house. Um, that's actually above or below their shower too. Cool. Yeah, that's definitely new. Um, the, the the expert infantry badge and the uh, ex, uh, EFMB, the expert field medical badge. Since it's stuck there, and I can be able to move your mic. Um, they're actually in some ways more prestigious than their combat arm side, like. You could be a member of the infantry and just happen to be in a firefight and then never do anything else ever again. And you will get the combat infantry badge, EIB. In order to get the EIB, the expert infantry badge, you actually have to know what you're doing. And it's a pain in the ass. Like I went through EFMB, the expert field medical badge course, and I failed twice before I got it. It is so detail oriented and meticulous. You have to memorize everything to the T to the letter. Stop looking at the ceiling. You're messing up the podcast. So now that's all I can think about. You have to here here's here's the best part. Okay. And this may have changed. It's been a long time. In order to go through these courses and in order to pass or fail, you are not told how you did in each lane or each event until the final day. Right. So you could have failed on hour one. Yeah. And you still have to complete you, the whole you, 72 and, hours and you, or whatever. You could have you could have finished the entire rest of the course and thought that you were doing good just to find out that you didn't tie your shoes properly. I'm not joking. That's a thing. So how'd you fail the first time? Um, the first time I didn't assemble the radio correctly. The second time I didn't put on my mop suit, JS list, whatever it's called now. Um what is a mop suit? It's for chemical, biological, radi radiology, or radiological, whatever, attack, nuclear, whatever attacks fall out, whatever. There's actually a, a process for putting it on and a process for decontamination to take it off. And there were other things that I didn't pass in either of those, but that was like, you as soon as you hit the, the no-go or go, pass, fail, that's it. Like, they'll still track everything else so they can give you feedback at the end, but that's how I feel. It's the first you've ever told me about that. Nobody ever asked me about it. How the, would I know to ask about something that I didn't even know the, existed? The, the manual for it is this thick. Damn. How many times did you read it? Barely. <laughs> it's everything is like 
procedural basic steps and stuff like that. So doing it is how I learn, not reading about it. Mm. Like, you know that before you turn on the switch on your hair dryer, you need to plug it in, right? Yeah. It's that kind of shit. Okay, gotcha. How do you start an IV? Okay, I need to do this, I need to do that. And you have to be able to explain the steps and why, like, you know, clean environment, sterile environment techniques, what's the difference between them, how to, you know, clean and dress a wound, um, what kind of meds to pass for certain things, what to do in each scenario, how to delegate things to others. Um, like one of the things that you have to do to graduate from medic school, I'm sure it's still pretty similar. They're, they have these uh, potentially like warehouses with these scenarios, they're mass casualty scenarios. Like one of them is like a bomb went off in like a city street and you go in with a team of four people and you have a senior medic and three junior medics and you're all going through training together. It's just one is the, in the leadership role and then the other three are supposed to do what the senior medic is delegating to them. So you have to go in, triage and identify all the patients and treat them as best as possible, call in, you know, medevac requests and things like that. And it's, it's more of a, uh, a stress thing. Like, can you actually handle this more than it is pass or fail? It's intended for everybody to fail. There's no passing. Like there's no perfect way to do it. You're never, ever, ever going to get to everybody. And that's part of what they're trying to teach you. Like you're going to fucking fail. Get over it. You're going to lose somebody. Get over it. They Sounds like the American dream. You're yeah. going to fucking fail. Yeah, there you go. So back to the American dream that right. you've gone on to. So I think that i mean the landscape is kind of shifting and here's one of the things i was kind of thinking about in the bathroom yesterday you know because you do your best thinking in the bathroom yeah yeah so we're 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 this we're like the leader of the first world countries right not even just the leader of the free world but the leader of the first world countries so i think right now at at one point we were like an agricultural economy and then we became a manufacturing economy and then we became a technology economy. I think that now we're becoming a creator economy. I can see that. Everybody wants to become a YouTuber, a streamer, mm-hmm. a podcaster. They want to become a movie star. Like that's that's our that's America's export is culture. I can see that. Yeah. So I'm kind of of the notion now where I don't think we actually need to bring back a lot of these manufacturing, I mean, some, some manufacturing jobs we should bring back because for one, everything has technology in it now and we don't need the ability for people to inject, you know, technology with malicious scripts, software, tracking, things like that. That shit needs to be in house. Um, and it shouldn't be sold to anybody abroad for any price or any reason. There's always gonna be somebody that's gonna fucking try. We've already kind of lost control of that in a way. But you can't, I mean, until we become slaves, you can't really sell us back to other people, but we can sell. Do you think we're going to become slaves? I mean, if effectively, you know, that's basically what communism and socialism are. You own nothing and you will like it. This is, this is our boobies. That's, <laughs> that's true. No comment. No comment. We are a creator economy but we do need for the same reason that when you learn how to shoot as an example for the military military followers we're taught how to shoot and achieve ranges of 300 yards with iron sights the sight that's built onto the rifle or the pistol but that's a pistol's shorter range but 300 or 300 meters with iron sights. So no scope, no red dot, no, nothing fancy. And what it boils down to is, Hey, when your fucking battery dies, what are you going to do? You're going to have to take it off or slide it over or look through it. And you're going to have to use your iron sights. You need to understand the basics and the fundamentals because you're not always going to have that piece of technology. You'll have it right now. And you should also be very proficient at using that because it should make you better should but you still have to understand the fundamentals and the basics and you need to be able to return to that in an emergency so we do still need farmers and agriculture and manufacturing and technology and other things like that 
because in the event that a China takes over Taiwan, we need to be able to manufacture processors for our devices here or in another country that we fund other than Taiwan. For agriculture, we need to have land. We need to have the ability to mine resources. We need to have the ability to, uh, you know, process and extract crude oil or fracking or whatever else, natural gas, all that other stuff. So there, there are practices and disciplines that we need to keep as a culture in order to keep our future progress in the event that the people that we're, we're relying on now become our enemies or are invaded by our enemies. We can't always be the world police. Right now we're pretending that we're not. We're trying to do it with policy. And that's working really well. But like I said in another episode previously, I think, and I'm of the belief that for the last two years, we've already been in World War III. It's a slow progression. We had the same mentality as Americans in the 40s, 30s and 40s, that World War I, we didn't want to be involved in to begin with. And then there was only a brief period of time of peace. And we had no desire to get involved in World War II until the Japanese fucked around. We were perfectly content with just shipping shit over to Europe to help out. And then the Japanese decided to fuck with our boats. And then we decided we were going to develop a new technology to wipe their asses off the fucking face of the earth. So you were like, I'm going to be petty. And we're like, okay, we're going to be extreme. That's, <laughs> that's what happened. I mean, that's the, the high level overview of it. And that's kind of, that's, you know, part of the American culture. That's part of being an American. Going to the extreme. We export war. We're very good at exporting war and we're, we're the best at developing war, war technology, war related, um, everything. I mean, look, look at how many books and movies and things like that. How many, Civil War came out today, or I guess last night technically, but today is like the the twelfth, so it came out today. Are you gonna go see it? You aren't? No, I'm just gonna pirate it. That's that's my American dream. Sorry, A twenty four. Not giving you my money in the theaters. I'm not gonna go pay for sixteen dollar twelve ounce beer that cost me one dollar to drink at home. Ridiculous. Capitalism and consumerism are awesome because it's filled with opportunity, but it doesn't have to mean that I have to consume what you have taken the opportunity to do. That's all, all these movie studios and stuff like that anyways. Okay, so let's say you let's say you go to the theater and you pay for a ticket for all six of us, right? That's you just actually bought that DVD or Blu-ray eight times. Correct. But then but when we it also com- don't have but then when, the round sound, but then when we it, don't have a screen that big. You're paying for more than just No. The experience the experience is not worth it. That's why they hold the movies hostage. That's why as soon as the pandemic was over, they went back to exclusively theater releases because that's the way that they can squeeze the most money. Nobody wanted to pay for streaming plus movie rental on Disney and whatever. They wanted, like, okay, when I think it was Black Widow was one of them that came out and there was one on HBO. I can't remember. So you're you're already paying for the streaming service and then they want you to pay as much, if not more, as what you would pay to watch it in a theater, only for it to be released on the streaming service for free. A month later. Yeah. So it's it's all about timing and trying to capitalize on people's fear of missing out. I don't have a fear of missing out. So I'm just going to get it for free earlier than I otherwise would. Okay. They're already stealing all of our information anyways. And like all of the the tech people that I follow and everything like that, everybody's basically shifted back to the model of producing content regarding bringing everything back in house, building your own servers, your own cloud, your own backups, your own, so your own iCloud, your own Google photos, your own Google drive, your own, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, that you have in your own house that only you can access for multiple reasons. All of that shit that you're sending and receiving over your network is not, is not secret. Every picture that you send as a text message, Every video that you send as an iMessage, Apple has it, your carrier has it, and there's a possibility that other people like the Chinese who have been in AT&T's network for seven years have it. 
When you send passwords, they have it. You send your nudie pics, they have it. Who has your nudie pics, Andrew? Probably the whole world at this point. I don't know. Remember, I was an early adopter of the internet. I was the one that made the mistakes that you get to learn from. <laughs> Grandma, cover your ears. I'm sure something's floating around. I'm sure. I am terrified to even imagine what would be floating around regarding your little pee pee. Memes? Oh, he's so little. <laughs> oh, guys, I did that the other day after we fucked. You did? Yes. Where was I, that? I patted it when you were getting into the when you were getting ready to get in the shower. I was like, oh, he's so little. Oh, he's remember. so he's little shrinky. He's so remember. tiny little pee pee. Aww. Oh, Aww. little pee pee. <laughs> I don't even remember. Are you sure I was there? No, it was my other husband. Uh, yeah, that guy. Just curious. I don't know. <laughs> you never know who comes and goes here. Um, You have cameras surrounding this house. You know exactly who is coming and going. Do I? You're the only one coming, and I'm apparently the only one going. Mm. Hey, Whisper's here. You guys can't see her, though. Hey, Whisper. The old grain dog is here. What else do we need to tell people to do? You said today's episode was all about you and your American dream, so it's all you, babe. My American dream is for you guys to pay me money for this podcast episode. <laughs> all right, so if you want to sponsor, Andrew will put together a little package so you can review possibilities yep. as to how much doll hairs you would like to donate yeah. to get your name out there. The premium package will be called Small PP Deluxe. Oh, that's yeah. so cute. Yeah. And then should there be a Bob's option? Yeah. Okay. Bob's. No. Bob's Bounce House. Oh, my God. Or the milk truck. Yeah, there we go. You got asked last night yeah. if I insured milk trucks. Yeah. The milk truck package. Mm-hmm. Uh, the Vagine lasagna. What else Gregnet. is there? Hi, dear. If anybody actually knows what I'm talking about, comment below. You'll know exactly. <laughs> if you know, you know. If you don't know, somebody else will tell you. <laughs> Hi, I still red. Very. It's not as red as it was last night, but it's still pretty red. He born... cries a lot, guys. Yeah. Michigan lost. Oh, I'm Aww. sorry. Oh, it's okay. Not football, so it's not a big deal. Mm. They should have won, though. They got cheated. They also didn't play to win, so that was also <laughs> their fault. A little bit of this, a little bit of that semantics i mean just look at how the kids have a meltdown when they don't get what they want that's how athletes are too that's how you are once you realize that you're not going to get the calls that you should be getting and that when you're normally skating and somebody falls over that you're going to get called for tripping this is dumb if you watch the replay you're like what could you imagine if i don't know on cash and charlotte's soccer team if one of the kids kicked the ball and Another kid on the other side of the field fell down. They were like, oh, penalty, Cash is kicked out of the game and can never come back. Like, that's <laughs> yeah, that's well, basically that's the terrible. that's basically the equivalent of what happened. Like, oh, you. You skated. You were gone for two minutes. That's Cooper. Cooper was, like, looking intently at the screen. He's like, what happened? I was like, because, you know, we couldn't hear it. We were just watching. I was like, um, I don't know. Maybe they paused because he like hurt his ankle or something but they don't in hockey they typically don't stop for injuries they continue and then like the guy will like make his way out unless it's bad yeah they like stop play and then the michigan player skated off to the penalty box and i was like maybe it was a delayed penalty and then they showed the replay and nope it was because he was skating nothing malicious about it he didn't even know the other player was there he was just skating and the other guy fell over and okay. at that point we knew the tone was set gotcha yep but it would have been so it was rigged it would have been michigan playing denver both they're tied right now for the most championships in history so now denver has the opportunity to take the lead over michigan michigan has nine denver has nine that's why he has red eyes guys he's been crying all night regarding it no i just was tired yeah and the power was out of the place we tried to go to Mm -hmm. So you got me on here doing all kinds of rambling. These people won't want to hear that shit. By the way, uh, Murphy was like, dude, I've been listening to podcasts. This is awesome. That's your Australian friend, right? Yeah. And 
So I told him you make fun of him for living upside down. Is that what? Yeah, they're okay. all they they, li they all live okay. in the upside down. The upside down is the place where you go to die because everything wants to kill you. Okay. <laughs> Just trying to follow where you were going the, with that. The ground wants to kill you. Mm -hmm. The animals want to kill you. Mm -hmm. The bugs want to kill you. Mm -hmm. The sun wants to kill you. <laughs> the water wants to kill you. Your wife wants to kill you. Yeah. Okay. The emus want to kill you because you lost the war. <laughs> How many people know about that? Mm, probably two people listening to this podcast out of the seven people listening Seriously, to how, you, how are you going to lose a war to emus? <laughs> Fucking flightless bird. That's mm -hmm. how you know. That's how you know that you you're gonna make your number seven follower stop listening if you mm -hmm. speak too negatively on Australia. No, we'll have them on the show. Oh yeah. Yeah. You're planning on it. Yeah, we were talking about it. This is the first I'm hearing of it, guys. I know. Okay. I hear a lot of firsts on this podcast. He like doesn't talk to me the other. 23 hours of the day. Because I'm sitting over there working, trying to make money. Not very successfully, but I'm still trying. So this is our one hour of the day that we're having a conversation, and I'm just... Yep. Okay, okay. Click the links in our descriptions. Mm -hmm. Make sure you leave a comment, because at 100 subscribers, we're going to do that Amazon gift card giveaway. Yes. Uh... How many subscribers do we have currently? Do you know? It keeps going up slowly. Right. Roughly. I don't know. 70. Oh, so we're we're relatively close. I thought we were like down in the 20s. No. Okay. So we're we're getting close to 100. Okay. Yeah. That's exciting. Yeah. And our numbers are up on all the other platforms. I was sad looking at Spotify numbers and Spotify numbers have started going up too. But Apple Podcasts is our number one platform. Your favorite. You love Apple so much. So... Well, was, well, the other thing that was funny is uh, the Apple or iPhone device, whatever, went down. Or no, I'm sorry. Apple Podcasts has gone down. It's only like 58% now out of all of the other audio and video distributions that aren't YouTube. But when I looked at device specific, I was dead nuts on 69% this morning. Your favorite number, yep. 69. Yep. Well... You can never have 420 and have 420 percent when it's only go it only goes up to 100. You're acting like you love some 420 over 69. No, I'm just saying those. No, are, let's be real. Those are the two you numbers. You love 69. Those are the two numbers that everybody loves. No, I'm talking specifically about Some, you, not everybody else. Somebody in the comments is gonna say nice. I'm gonna put a gif, the gif on the screen, of that guy. I don't know. You'll okay. see it when it's complete. I actually don't even ever show her these videos. No. All right. This is rambled on for 10 more minutes than it was supposed to. Goodbye. American dream. Yeah, I'm living it. I'm achieving it. And you guys are paying for it. Love you. I love you. I love you too. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. There you go. She figured it out.